Now I know in yesterday's video I said I was going to be doing part two of this spinner design today. But there is a project I want to work on that I need to give priority to and it is a playing card holder. I want to make like a playing card case, just really simple, just going together um, in two parts. What I'm going to use for it is this titanium here. This is 13.5 millimeters thick. I will make rough blanks and that will be cut on the water jet cutter here. And with those blanks, I will then put it in the vise. I will then touch probe it, which is this little tool here. It's a pricey tool, so I'm trying to be very careful with it. Well, pricey, it's like, for a touch probe, it's cheap. It was only like a couple of grand, but um, that's, a, that's a cheap touch probe. But it works really well for this machine. It's not like ultra high precision or anything. So that's, so that's the touch probe here. I'll show you this working later on today. So that there is the bit of titanium plate in the water jet cutter, ready to be cut out. I will show you the, the blank now, the DXF file that I'm gonna cut out two blanks from. So what you're seeing there is me programming, converse, conversational programming, the basically the female part of how the card holder will go together. I'm not doing the outside yet, I'll do that last. The tricky thing to try and get right is, you know, the two parts going together. So they're gonna be like, there'll be a frame that's, you know, X by Y, and within that will be like another frame that's like X by Y, but minus one mil in each, on each edge. A little bit difficult to explain, but once you start seeing it being milled, then I, I think you'll, you'll get the idea of it. So that's the titanium blank in the vise. That's it touch probe. So what that does is it finds out the sort of rough size sort of on the left, right, front, back, and therefore it tells me exactly where the center is and then I just set the center in the software and basically we've got like a highly accurate um, position like it, we, we know exactly the position of the block of titanium and now we can sort of mill it basically. <laughs> So, the machine is running. It's taken a long time to do it. Usually I play it a bit safe, but I got a bit aggressive in the cutting there. And I could see the quality of the cut wasn't very good. There was obviously a lot of deflection by the tool, because when you, when you machine along the edge of something, you know, you're, you're biting into it. And, and so what happens is you get deflection on the tool, it comes out. I could see the quality of the cut along the side was just, just not very good. There was lines and streaks, so I slowed down the feed rate quite a bit, but sort of took more of a chunk off. And it seems to be working, it's very slow. You can probably hear that vibration there, like it's sort of like a, as if it's doing work. I, I think that's the sound it's meant to have. I, I'm really not sure. I'm not sure how that sound will come through on this. Once I've done this, I'm gonna do, I think, the center pocket next, and, and that will be sort of the initial female part of the card holder. I'll take that out, I'll put in the other bit, do the same and start making the, the, the male part. And because I don't expect it to go in perfectly because it's something that's gonna be used, you know, you put it together, you take it apart. I need to sort of get it so that it doesn't fit perfect, but it's not too loose, if that makes sense. So 
started doing the pocket, but as you can see, the edge of the pocket is just it's just wrecked. Like uh, this isn't this isn't quite quite right. So what I'm going to do, I think, is that's a high speed steel. So that's a high speed steel cutter. Not great for using on titanium, for what I understand, but it was the biggest cutter I had. It was 12 millimeters. You always want to be using the biggest cutter you can, apparently. So this is 10 mil, but it's only got sort of like two flutes rather than the four flutes, you know, so it can only do kind of half the work. So you've got to change the speed and the feed and all that stuff. But I think it might be better off trying this um, for this job. The, the high speed steel end mill just, just doesn't seem to be doing very well. Either that or I've got all my settings wrong. I'm definitely a happy person. This this uh, this card holder is milling very very well, as you saw. I was initially doing 45 millimeters per minute, sort of going along. So so when you see it going along, so it's drilling, so it's spinning around and it's going along. And that movement there was 45 millimeters a minute is what I started with, and I increased it again and again and again and again and again. And I'm now up to something like 300 millimeters a minute. And, you know, it's sounding okay. There's no squeaking, especially when it gets into the corners. I use the oil so you can see things better, that mist kind of oil look, rather than that flood coolant. Like, the flood coolant is, is cleaner, but when you use the mist, you get basically a, a, a thing of mist in here. You probably can't see it, but it's, there's a haze in here now. I'm excited to be getting a better handle on this. It's all, it's going well. It's going disconcertingly well. So, for the last 40 minutes, I have been hollowing out this. This is the bottom of the card holder. Now, truthfully, it's pretty rough. I don't know if you can see it in the, in the video, but, you know, you can see kind of like, 
where the milling bit has gone along, it looks smooth from like that kind of distance, it looks smooth, but when you get up, you're like, oh, you can see like, not chatter, there's not so much, uh, there's not chatter, the bit's not like bouncing or, or the material flexing, it's just the, the combination of the, I think it being a two flute end mill, uh, which means it's got two and not four cutting parts to it, like so two, two, two lines to the cutting, not four or three. Combination of that, the, the speed I'm going along and RPM probably, the feed rate and RPM. But overall, like for my first real object that I'm machining out of titanium, you know, I'm kind of surprised that it's working so well. So what I'm gonna do now is not do any more on this. You can see the sides still need to be done, the bottom still needs to be done. Before I go any further on this, I'm gonna put the other blank bit in. This is the female side of the card holder. I'm gonna do the male side of it. And you know, there might be a lot of like, you know, skim it, try and fit it, skim it, try and fit it, because you can't, Put material back on. That's the that's the big thing with with milling. I've noticed you can't put it back on. Milling the other part of the card holder right now. I'm gonna do one more layer. Give it 10 minutes. It's gonna take too long. It's getting late. So I will call it a day at that. I will leave you with a quote. It is by Socrates, and he said, "He is richest who is content with the least, for content is the wealth of nature."